Thank you to Friendship Organics for sponsoring this video. More on that in a moment. Can I let you in on a little secret? This iced London Fog Latte is actually pretty simple to make at home and is definitely more affordable than running out to your local coffee shop. And to ensure that you get the flavors right, I'm going to break down the necessary ingredients, provide detailed step-by-step -step instructions, and provide some helpful tips and tricks along the way. Plus, I'll show you two ways to make it. Spoiler alert, the second way might be my new favorite way to enjoy Earl Grey tea. Okay, to brew up this delicious drink, you'll need two Earl Grey tea bags, now, in case you've never heard of it before, Earl Grey tea is a black tea that's flavored with bergamot orange oil. Bergamot orange is a type of citrus fruit that looks kind of like a cross between an orange and a lemon or a lime. It's primarily produced in Southern Italy. Those fresh citrusy flavors combine with the black tea to make a wonderfully distinct flavor profile. And it makes for such a refreshing and lovely iced tea latte. I really like this decaf Earl Grey tea from Friendship Organics for several reasons. First, like all of their teas, it's certified fair trade and totally organic. When possible, well, I like to source teas that are ethically produced and pesticide free. Their tea bags are plastic free and all of their packaging is either recyclable or compostable besides the security seal on the tin. This bag inside the tin is not plastic. Despite how it looks, it's actually made from plants. They have a smart system where you can purchase refills for the reusable tins, which reduces packaging. And the tins and bags are made in the USA. I also appreciate that this Earl Grey is naturally decaffeinated using the CO2 decaffeination method, so I can enjoy it any time of day. It's also decaffeinated in the same country where it's grown, which reduces the carbon footprint of production. By the way, they also have a non-decaf version if you're looking for a caffeine boost from your iced latte. And last but not least, the flavors are lovely. I actually featured the Friendship Organics Decaf Masala Chai in my chai review video, and they were one of my top picks. I've been impressed by the flavors of their decaf teas. And of course, I'll have the link to purchase in the description. Thank you again to Friendship Organics for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, you'll also need one teaspoon of organic dried lavender. This is optional, but it does add another layer of flavor to this drink. Please source food grade organic lavender flowers. One to three teaspoons of vanilla syrup. I have a video tutorial for how to make your own vanilla syrup, but you could also substitute maple syrup, honey, or a sweetener of your choice and add one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Half a cup of boiling water, one quarter cup of whole milk or your plant-based beverage of choice, and one quarter cup of cream. You can substitute more milk if you prefer, but I really like the richness that the cream adds to this latte. Okay, first we're going to make a quick tea concentrate. Place two Earl Grey tea bags into a heat safe container. Add the lavender if using to a tea strainer and place that next to the tea bags. Pour the boiling water on top and cover with a plate. Since you're using less water to make a tea concentrate, you'll want to trap in as much heat as possible while steeping. Allow to steep for five minutes, then remove the lavender and gently squeeze out the tea bags before removing them. This is optional, but I like to extract as much flavor as I can. You can skip the squeezing if you prefer. Now add three quarters to one cup of ice to a 12 to 16 ounce glass. Pour the milk and cream on top of the ice and add the vanilla syrup or sweetener of choice. Finish it off with the Earl Grey Lavender Concentrate. Now another way to make this delicious drink is to incorporate a sweet cream cold foam to pour on top. Start by brewing the tea the same way as you did before, but this time you're going to use 2 thirds cup of boiling water instead of half a cup. While the tea is steeping, mix together the sweet cream. In a small glass or measuring cup, place 3 tablespoons of cream, 1 tablespoon of milk, and one tablespoon of vanilla syrup or maple syrup. Whip with a handheld milk frother until somewhat thickened. You don't want to overbeat it or it will be too thick to mix with the rest of the drink. Quick tip, you might want to give the sweet cream one more mix right before pouring it on top of the drink. After the tea is done steeping, place one cup of ice cubes in a 12 to 16 ounce glass. Pour the tea on top and add one teaspoon of vanilla syrup and give it a good stir. Now pour that sweet cream on top of your lovely iced tea and watch the magic happen. This is the perfect end of summer drink, but after you try it, you might be craving it all year long. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out my drinks playlist for more make at home recipes. Citrus food, blah, blah, fresh citrus leaf, blah, blah, citrus leaf, blah, blah, <clears throat> while he, while, blah, while steeper.